This is a little bit pretty, isn't it? What a view to be uh, falling asleep to, waking up and looking at. Does that even make sense? Hello, everybody. I've just driven four hours from home to Sydney at um, Meriton World Tower. Dawn and I have come up for the night to go try on some wedding dresses. Well, I'm trying on wedding dresses. Dawn is just helping me. <laughs> you look so pretty sitting on there. But you guys will not believe if I seem flustered, it's because I am. I just left my entire suitcase in the elevator and didn't even realize until like 30 minutes, maybe even longer of being here. Like my brain is just completely melted, so. Anyway, let's uh, give a little room to her because I really like this place. It's nice. It's got lovely views. You come in, you have the monster in law on the lounge. <laughs> this cute little dining dining table, kitchenette, a little lounge room. To the right, we have some sort of cupboard. This is going to be Dawn's room. Lovely big bed, telly. Lovely view. Uh, back around you got me We have a little walk-in wardrobe and an ensuite cute and Bug this way <laughs> what? We have One room that nobody will be sleeping in it's cheaper to get a three-bedroom apartment than um, then a two bedroom apartment, but we need two rooms because Dawn snores, so. <laughs> this is so crazy, but like I could not, I don't know how people like live in apartments like this and just like look at the city all the time, it's too hectic, it hurts my brain. Anyway, back out here we have laundry. Are you telling my store? Yeah. <laughs> my room with my stuff and my suitcase is out there now, can't be trusted with it. Such a pretty view, like, like it's ugly but pretty, if you get what I mean. Uh, and back out here, guys, this place goes on forever, it's like bigger than my house. Got some random cupboards and another bathroom. That completes the tour. I've got an appointment in about an hour. Um, I'm going to Grace Love's Lace, just like out on a whim. Um, it's not really my style, but I feel that I should try on more than like one brand of wedding dress. So first appointment is tonight and then I've got another appointment tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, I figured it'd be fun to vlog this little adventure. Hopefully we can find a dress because I'm coming it very close and I do feel a bit stressed and I think that's why my brain is broken. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready, freshen up, try and wake up. <laughs> and I really wish that I brought a change of clothes, but I didn't, so. Oh my god, we finally freaking found it. Ten years later. Okay, we're here. Dawn's already broken. She's crying. Uh, look how pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it. You've got to do it. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, I think. Yeah. That's it. So, so it's sort of coming more like that. Maybe I've zoomed in. Yeah, two more. Oh, I've zoomed in that whole time. Oops. She's going to try two more. Well. <laughs> Can we even see anything? I don't know. But here's the first one. It's not the love Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> She's doing now. Here you go, my love. So that's Lena. So that's the one that's got a bit of a, um, she got some fabric, got the lace and the crepe. Very pretty back. Lots of detail on that, which is gorgeous. And then this is beautiful Bella. So gorgeous Bella is 100% silk, so it's as soon as I see a December or January bride, I'm like, you should wear silk because it'll be amazing. So it's more of a straight across kind of cow neck. You've got that soft split in there and it's a beautiful like sash tie out back almost. So lots of different ways we can do that so we can play with that as well. What would you like to try on first? Which one first? Okay. You feel alright getting out of this one? You sure? Okay. Again, just shout if you need me, darling. I'm here for you. Thank you. My pleasure. Excellent. All right, guys, this next one, this is called Lena. See, I love the back on that. Yeah. Gorgeous. Can they see? Sam. Oh, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam. Do you want me to put the back on the back? The back's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. I like that. This one. Mm. So, I'm going to put it down with that. That's gorgeous. Bustle portion, so your shoulder and the bust and shoulder waist. So, all of this excess is in the back there. Yeah, like that, so that will sit beautiful and flush. That's beautiful. Isn't it pretty buttons as well? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The right fish is here. Yeah. It's very different. We're going to get an extra clip done. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're right, Dar. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, it's very cool. How are you feeling in this one? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see Well, oh, yes, there is. You ready for a bit of a magic trick? Well, first things first, you can choose what train length you want to go for. If you don't want a long train, you can definitely choose for a shorter option. But if you do want a long train, you've got two different options of ways to tie up. On the end, you've got a finger loop like this, so you can sit on your hand, you can dance around and still have kind of your hand free. Or, what we can do, little loop here, we can pin her up. On the back like this. Nails. Yeah. And there you go. Nice, isn't it? Now once it's made for the right length for you, darling, obviously the nice. is too oh, long for nice, you. It'll be super easy for you to yeah, me too. move around. Cool. That's lovely too. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, like this I love the front of it too. Yeah, yeah it's lots of padding in yes, it. Yes, but it's beautiful. Hang on, let me go get you some. Yeah. Thank you. Even the side bits. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's very Yeah. yeah. So funny because this is nothing like what I imagined. No one like I really like song. What do you think, Kobe? What do you think? Oh, I do. You like that one? What do you think? The back's beautiful, Belle. <laughs> Belle's just going. Clever, isn't it? Yes. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, Let me shove them in! Shove them in! Isn't the back beautiful? That's what you say. Yeah, yeah, boys. Went down to Jim's favorite to get going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> All right, ladies, this next one's gorgeous. This is beautiful Bella. I mean, it didn't stop my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a hundred percent silk. Got spaghetti straps, bit more of a square neckline, a slit, and a bit of a different sash tie-up back as well. So very different from the first two. What do you think? I really like it. Yeah. Pardon? You like the tie-up? Yeah. Yep. How do you feel in this fabric? Oh, this one, yeah. so nice. Turn around. 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 Turn
Do you want me to tie it up a different way so you can see how that looks as well? Yeah. So there's a few different ways we can do this gorgeous sash because it's nice and long, so you can, what I've done is I've wrapped it around the front. That kind of thing. So you can do that as well. Here as well, just yeah. for reference. Yeah, not bad. Thanks, Say hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Maximum Bell. recording. What? Bell. I what? said, who's that down the bottom? She goes, I don't know. Cell. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> out of this window at night time I'm sure all you guys are seeing is a bunch of like reflection but it is so pretty if you get the idea stun I honestly just have had the biggest day my brain is melted like I just need to set you guys down on the table I think dinner was pretty good we went to this random spot across the road from Meriton Suites um, Meriton Sweets is all this place is even called. I really, I don't know, but let me just try and sit to the side so you guys can see the pretty city lights. There's a phrase I never thought I'd say in my life, but um, yeah, it's been a massive day. We drove up to Sydney. Well, we drove to Wollongong first, um, did a little bit of shopping there, and then continued to Sydney where I had to drive through the city, and it's just not a vibe. Like, I don't get stressed out, but it just annoys me. Like not really knowing where I'm going and like people on the road in this joint are just legit assholes most of the time uh, but yeah then we got here and within like 35 minutes of us being here I realized my freaking suitcase wasn't in the room and I knew that I would grabbed it out of the car because I remembered wheeling it and I was just so out of it I think because going to find a dress was honestly just like I was very stressed about that like I just, I knew that like someone would be like up close, like touching me and then I'd be half naked and just feel super uncomfortable, but I was actually really fine. I had a really good time. Um, and Maddie, the girl that was helping me was just, she was just lovely. So it was really, really good. And she made me feel really comfortable and it was just, it was good. So I found two dresses at Grace Love's Lace that are potential wedding dresses, but yeah, I've got another appointment tomorrow at Eternal Bride, so I am absolutely just buggered. Like, I think you can tell by looking at my face. <laughs> I'm so tired, so I'm going to get these funky ass clothes off because I've been wearing them since way too early. And I'm going to have a shower and I was going to scrub off my tan and do a new one, which is not ideal to do when you're like in a hotel, but... I think I'm just gonna not and I think I'm just gonna like continue being a patchy fake tan girl and just go to my appointment tomorrow and just try and imagine myself being tanned in whatever I try on tomorrow but yeah so I will see you guys in the morning we're gonna find a spot to go get brekkie and then hang around for a bit and then go to I'm actually really looking forward to this one as well like this is sort of the reason why we came for me to try on this one particular Galia Lahav Lahav I don't even know how you say it um dress so i'm really excited about it slash scared and yeah i don't know we'll see we will see how we go tomorrow and i'll see you guys in the morning
looks like it's going to be a little bit of a cloudy day, but I have just finished getting ready. I feel like my face is extremely swollen. I don't know. I watched one video on YouTube of a girl dress shopping and she was getting really dressed up. I'm not that girl. I'm in trousers and a knitted jumper and I'm probably going to put a coat on and I'm going to wear my Converse. It doesn't matter, literally. I'm going to try dresses on. I walk in clothed, strip off, try the dresses on, strip off, put my clothes back on, walk back out in the street. That's how it goes. So I'm like, why does it matter what I wear? But anyway, I feel really puffy. I don't know, there must have been heaps of salt in dinner last night. I feel like my whole face is swollen, but we're going to get sorted and uh, go through everything in the car, check out and go and get some brekkie. I'm starving. I know, I'm so impressed by lights like this. Dawn and I are just wandering around looking for somewhere to get breakfast. found a place but we can't find it so what do you got anything no <laughs> all right we have food it's been a very long time but we have food and it's shaping up to be a nice day look the sun is trying to come out probably just won't but I like sitting out here today. all right everybody here we are and there is Shop number two. It's very far away apparently. I'm really excited and scared. Look how pretty it looks. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I feel like the sun is like making a crazy glare. I'm sitting on the floor because the sun just comes into this room and it's so lovely. But hello, everybody, back home. It's the next day. What a crazy 24 hours. I just wanted to come home and like get sorted and debrief with you guys. I don't know if that glare is like really annoying or what. I'm sitting here on the floor with Dwayne. He's just hanging out laying in the sun. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and like debrief. It's been a wild ride <laughs> and I'm really glad that I was able to bring you guys along with me. I'd like to like put you right in front of me but the sun is just a bit hectic and I can't be bothered to move. I'm so tired. But yes. Uh, so, the last thing you guys saw was pretty much me and Dawn arriving to the bridal shop, Eternal Bride. I got in there, had a really nice chat with the lady, and she was like, oh, like, I'm really sorry. I know that you planned on, like, vlogging it, but they have a no camera and, like, no, like, video and photo policy, which is so strange to me in, like, 2022, because, like, that is our world now. But anyway, I was like, well, that sort of sucks. <laughs> I took some sneaky clips of the shop, as you guys saw, and I took a little clip of a couple of the rejects, which is so funny, but that's what I wanted to actually talk to you guys about. I've got a little bit of a list on my phone of the things that I wanted to talk about, slash, like, mention. Um, so, yeah, basically got there. Weren't allowed to record anything, so that really sucked because I had such a great experience in Grace Loves Lace. Like, they were just, like, straight away, champagne and welcome and measure me and what do you want to try? Do you want to try this? And, like, the girl there was just so lovely and she had so much patience. I felt like the worst freaking customer ever. Um, but she was just so lovely. But I think at the end of the day, those dresses just weren't really my style and like what I was after and I sort of knew that going in there but I just I knew that I needed to try something else besides the dresses in the boutique that we were going to the next day specifically for at Eternal Bride um, so yeah I tried on Rosa that was the first dress I tried on hated it <laughs> which is so funny because that's the dress that I went there to try also tried on, I really wanted to try Bonita, but I couldn't get her if I wanted to, so there's no point. 
Lena actually really liked that, which is funny because it was nothing like what I was looking for, but I knew that I needed to try different things. So tried that on and I did really like it. I did think for a moment that that might have been like the dress, but sadly it's not. Um, also tried Bella just for fun. Like it's a little bit of a sexy little moment with your leg out. Um, I really loved that too, but again, it just wasn't quite me. I did think that like if I was to get one from Grace Loves Lace that I would order two. So I'd have one for like the ceremony and then another one for the reception, which would obviously be Bella for the reception. Uh, anyway, fast forward to the following day, which was yesterday. We went to Eternal Bride. So we're back at the start of the story again. Sorry, I'm so crap at storytelling. But in there, she showed me the dress that I went to try on, which I may as well tell you guys. It was a Galia Le Have. I don't even know how, how do you say that? Galia Le Have. Le Have. However, you say that. It's not a cheap dress at all. And when she showed it to me on the rack, I didn't even recognize it. She was like, So you want to try on Rhea? And I was like, Yes, like that is why I'm here. That's why I made this trip to try on this particular dress. And she showed me the dress on the rack and I didn't even recognize it. And I was like, is that really it? Like this looks so different, um, like not on the model, which like I love clothes. I'm pretty good at picking something if it's just dangling there, but I would not have picked this to be the dress. And her response to me was, I know they look so different in person compared to the photos. And I just was like shook. So anyway, I'm like fiddling around the dresses, playing with them, and I was like, this just, I just want to be really honest right now, this dress is $23,000. I know, it's ridiculous, it's absolutely out of control, but <laughs> I saw this dress years ago and I was like, that is the dress that I want to get married in. Anyway, so fast forward a little bit, I tried it on, I put it on. And as soon as it was on me, I just wanted to take it off. It was the itchiest freaking thing that I've ever put on my skin. The quality just wasn't there and it just was absolutely not worth it in my opinion. Like it was just, it sucked. Like it really sucked. And I was so disappointed and I'm a Libra. So like once I've made up my mind about something, it's very, very hard for me to change my perception and my decision on something. So I stood there for quite some time. Couldn't take a photo in it, couldn't do anything just staring at it and I just wanted to take it off and I was like there's no way I can wear this for eight hours like it was awful and I feel so bad saying that because I don't like trashing brands or anything but it was just so not worth it and now I understand now why whenever you see these brides wearing these dresses and they always change into a second one at the end of the night that has, that's got to be why because the dresses are so uncomfortable Anyway, so I tried on a few from that brand, Galia Lahav, or Lahav, however the hell you pronounce it, um, and I just didn't love any of them. I tried on, actually, the first dress that I tried on at Eternal Bride was a um, Vera Wang dress, and <laughs> I was FaceTiming my sisters, just like I was at Grace Loves Lace, and Dawn was crying. The looks on my sisters' faces were just like... They literally look just like this emoji. And I felt good in it, I could move in it, and I was like, this is sick. And like, it was, it's beautiful. And that is the dress that I picked, oh my god, Dwayne! I said yes to the dress, I'm very excited. Um, and it's such a load off because I know that I left it so, so late. But yeah, that is it. That's the little story that I wanted to share with you guys. Deposit is paid. Just need to get it um, like fitted to me. And yeah, that's the update for now. Now I just need to sort out a few other things and we should be good to go. But yeah, that is my little story. I really hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm really, really sad and sorry that I couldn't record in the second boutique, but I mean, it is what it is. I also grabbed some accessories from there, which I'm not going to show until the day because I just, I want to keep it a surprise and I want to surprise Clay as much as possible. I also found my shoes yesterday. I'll probably show you guys the shoes because they're just stun. 
but yeah that is it sorry if i've been rambling i'm really good at going off on tangents but that's gonna be it for the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it i need to like share more of this whole wedding planning experience but honestly i've not enjoyed a single part of it like at all i've hated doing this it is so so stressful it's absolutely not a bit of me if i could go back to the start i would probably elope but i just know that if i did i would regret like six years from now not having an actual wedding so yeah that's my they're my open and honest thoughts if you disagree with me that's fine but I really do feel like weddings are stupid and <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this now that it's all like pretty much planned but it has just been the most ridiculous thing ever like <laughs> Maybe I just feel like that because I don't like as much as I don't make YouTube videos, but like I hate it when it's my birthday and I hate it when like the focus is on me, even though it's not really on me at the wedding. Like it is. Here comes the bride. There she goes down the aisle. Everybody's looking at you, and I'm like, I'm gonna bring Dwayne. I think he'll be a really good distraction. But okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I love you guys so much, and yeah, I'm so happy that I can share this with you. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video.